afternoon. So I realized that it is August. It's a little early to get started with Halloween. But if you do not pick up these supplies at the Dollar Tree, you're probably going to miss them. So that's the reason I thought we would do a fun Halloween wreath today um, with some Dollar Tree um, supplies. So when you come on, please tell us hello. Tell us how you're doing today and tell us where you're from. You know, we, in, we love to know that. Victoria is here with me and we are live both on Facebook and YouTube. So please ask questions on both of those um, platforms and Victoria is able to read those. So if you have any questions or comments, bring them on. So let me show you what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Um, so I've been watching other creators making different um, fall wreaths and fall arrangements and Halloween and all the things. So I stopped at our local Dollar Tree and I found the cutest little wreath kit. So it is called um, a wreath decorating kit and it's actually um, Frankenstein. He's, um, it's got his little face, it's got his hands, and it's got his feet. So I said, I have to get that. And then I picked up some of their mesh. So they have like a deco mesh. They had it in green black and orange. They did have purple. I didn't pick up the purple deco mesh. They had some purple ribbon, which is a wired ribbon. And then this one is kind of a spooky Halloween ribbon. It's got happy Halloween. It's got some skeletons and candy corn and little spiders and pumpkins, all the things. I also picked up at the Dollar Tree um, just a wreath form. So this is 14 inch wreath form. So it's just a metal wreath form. And then they had this cute little twig um, garland. So it's black. I don't know if you can see it. You can see it probably better on that door. It, um, but it's, it's sparkly. It's got some little sparkles. So I thought that would be fun. And then I dug in my ribbon collection here and I found us some more fun ribbons that I thought would be really cute to add. Um, so if you picked, if you had any in a ribbon stash, you can certainly use ribbon. But I just thought we would play with this wreath. Um, so I am going to start out by setting some of this stuff aside and throwing it on the floor for Victoria to help me pick up. Um, we're going to cut our mesh first. And I am going to use one of these handy dandy rollers to cut this mesh because it makes life so much easier than scissors. So this is a six inch, five yards of mesh. It's six inches um, in width and it's five yards um, long. So I think we're gonna take, I don't even know how many inches. Let's do about eight inches. But I think I'm gonna layer it because it'll be so much easier. It'll be quicker if we layer it. So I'm just gonna take my rolls. I'm actually dropping them on the floor and I'm rolling them out together. So you see how I've got them kind of layered together? Are you able to see me? Victoria's not talking, she's very quiet. <laughs> I was trying to make sure you didn't see your table. Oh, okay. So um, I love the black. It has kind of a, they all have a little bit of a sparkle in them. It's hard to see in the video, but they all have a little bit of a sparkle. Okay, so what I've done is I'm just laying them all together just like that. I just um, layered them, throw my garbage on the floor. And I am going to, I have this, I bought this at Amazon. It's just a handy dandy weighted um, ruler that helps when you're cutting something like mesh. Um, because, I'm gonna put that on the floor too. On YouTube, Miss Mary Lou says, Hello, Monty and Victoria. How is the day going and how is your mama doing? Mama is doing good. I actually talked to her this morning. Um, she slept well last night. She's doing good. Um, she feels, I mean, pretty good. She's tired, but she feels okay. Um, but we've had a good day. We've been pretty steady. Victoria's been working on, um, on a video for YouTube, so y'all keep your eyes out. Is that going live today? 
tomorrow. Tomorrow. It'll go live tomorrow. So we'll post it over on YouTube tomorrow. Um, so she's been working on that, and I've been working on um, just little things here and there. Um, so we've just been, we've been busy. So I'm going to take this roller. This is a roller cutter. I don't know name. It probably has a name. I don't know the name of it. But you just take it, and you can just cut that mesh by rolling it with that cutter. So I'm going to cut them about 8 inches or so. Um, and I've just got it layered, and I'm just pulling it down and cutting it about eight inches. And I really probably should have done this before the video, but I didn't. So we're gonna all do this together. Um. And I'm gonna drop them on the floor. It may just be one of those things where we just have to pick them up in a minute. Um, Wayne Poke on YouTube says, Howdy from the ranch in Central Texas where it is hot and dry. It is hot. Isn't it hot? It has been a pretty day here, though. In Mississippi, we've been, it's been kind of pretty. Um, it's been cooler the last few days, which is a blessing. Might be just as easy to cut those with my scissors. Uh, Miss Vicki McCullum says, Hello, ladies from Canada again. Hey, friend. How are you? Uh, Cam says, flowers and hurricane prepping. I wanted to watch before the storm hits us. The eye of the hurricane will go directly over my house. Oh, goodness. Well, we will certainly keep you in our prayers, friend. Miss um, Julie says, it's a cool 80, degree, 80 degrees in cloudy Pennsylvania. I love watching you play with something different. <laughs> I'm so glad because you never know what this is going to eat this shirt alive. Um, yeah, you never know how things are going to come out, so y'all just bear with me, because this is something I don't do a whole lot of, but it's fun. It's fun to do different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Carolyn says, so happy to catch both of you sweet friends live. This is just what I wanted to see. Yay, I'm so glad. Um, and Miss Margaret says, good evening, Monty and Miss Victoria. Happy Tuesday. We are all sad this week. Families trying to come to terms with the loss of their children. Oh, I know, Miss Margaret. We are certainly keeping you in our prayers. I'm so sorry to hear. I'm going to flip this black over real quick. Because it's wanting to roll up on me. Okay, again, I am no professional when it comes to this. This is really more just an arts and crafts for me. I'm not a professional, so if I'm doing this wrong, please forgive me. Um, the Easels on YouTube say, Good afternoon, Monty. So glad I caught y'all live. How? Oh, how are you, Victoria? I'm good, thanks. And Victoria's like, I'm going <laughs> to tuck those tabs into my shirt because I keep getting caught in my... Um... Do I miss Texas weather? Oh, oh gosh. Well, you never spent a whole lot of time in Texas, did you? I, I took a few trips over. I think that, um, I will say my hair did so much better in Texas. Did it? Yeah. The curls did better in, yes. te in Texas, really? Because I think the humidity over here, they want to get so, they're frizzy all the time. They get so frizzy. Yeah. While I was over there, I think, I I don't think there's as much humidity at all, so like they all, they stayed in place. I didn't have so to. So your hair was happier in yes. Texas. I did notice that. Interesting. Um, but it was still hot. I think last time I went, or it w I think last time I went, it was February, and it was still. I mean, it was. It was like cold the first two days, and then it got hot the. And then it was so <laughs> yeah. just like Mississippi, right? <laughs> yeah. So I miss how how my hair does in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I've gotten three rolls just about cut. I don't know how many rolls it's going to take to do this, so I'm going to cut three more. And then if it takes more, I went ahead and got three of each color. Um, Glenda on YouTube says hello from Hammond, Louisiana. Watch you every day. Aw, thank you, friend. So glad you're here. Garbage to that. And we're going to do three more rolls real quick because I'm afraid that's not going to be enough to cover. Yeah, it's not. It's not going to be enough to cover our whole wreath. So, we're going to do three more real quick. 
I apologize that I did not prep this beforehand, but you see how we wing it, right? So these little rolls, you can get them in lots of colors um, at the Dollar Tree. So our Dollar Tree has them for $1.25 a roll. And so I went ahead and picked up three of each color because I wasn't sure. Because you never know how much it's going to take. And I would rather have too much than not enough. Hold my mouth just right. Mm -hmm. um, Debbie Thomas says it's storming in Fort Mitchell, Alabama. Right oh, now. wow. And it probably won't last but a minute. And then it'll be so hot you can't breathe. <laughs> That's how it happens in Mississippi usually. Is it'll last for just a few minutes. And then it's too hot. I'm looking forward to some pretty fall weather. I don't know if y'all saw over on our Facebook page, Robbie made, Robbie and Victoria made some beautiful arrangements today. Um, but Robbie made that beautiful fall arrangement that I posted. She made it this morning and I was like, oh, this is beautiful. So I had to go and take, I, I haven't posted that really fantastic one that you made this morning, Victoria. Mm -hmm. I'll post it tomorrow. Um, but wow, I'm so excited to use some fall colors. Mm -hmm. Me too. Lots of pretty fall flowers. Um, Chloe Carpenter Morgan. Hello, my Clo Clo. <laughs> How is Lincoln? Says, hey, Moni and Victoria with some pretty white hearts. <laughs> with, our, with our baby boy. Mm -hmm. Give him kisses for us. <laughs> so that is my niece that had my great nephew not too long ago. Our very first great nephew. Okay, I'm just about finished. I'm sorry this is taking too long. Oh, Miss Debbie says they are getting the outer bands. It's storming over there. It is. getting the outer bands of the hurricane. Of the hurricane. Um, Don Miller says, I brought out my scarecrow hat and put it on my front door today. I'm ready for fall. Are you ready? Are you um, calling up the cooler weather, Miss Dawn? I have not decorated my porch yet for fall, but my the inside is decorated with some pumpkins and different things. Um... Julie says, it's good to see you wing it like some of us do. That's what makes crafting real. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're going to figure it out together. Come on, cut. And I thought it's always fun to use products that we don't normally use, and especially products that you guys can get so that you might get some ideas. The school buses, you can hear them, their wheel, their brakes squealing out there. Okay, just about, just about. God bless you. Okay, we're gonna call it. Bless you, bless you. <laughs> okay, we're going to call it. Okay. Now, well, Victoria, I'm going to need you to hand me all those back. Oh, please. Yes. I'm yes. sorry. No, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> There's one I put right there. They're all over there now. All right. So they rolled off the front of the table. So we are going to take our little curls, and we are going to attach them to our handy-dandy um, wreath form. I'm just grabbing them. Yep, just grab them. Yeah. Just roll them up there. Come on. I'm going to throw them in this drawer right here so they won't roll away. Thanks. <laughs> They're everywhere. I think they multiplied on the floor. <laughs> I didn't realize it would have so many. Good. That's going to be pretty and sparkly. Okay, so the nice part about this mesh is it is sparkly. So if you hang this on your front door, it is going to pick up the light 
um, from the vehicles or whatever that goes by, it will pick up the light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this fancy cutter board. And I'm going to take our wreath form. I'm gonna cut the tag off and throw that in the garbage. Oh, there they are. And I'm going to take and gather, I watched another little lady do this. So she laid it on, um, she laid it, so it has a curl of, it, of its own, right? And she took it and laid that curl face down and then she gathered that material. Is that right? That look right. And I'm gonna do it with each little flavor, each little color, where I'm just kind of gathering it. Just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna zip tie it in place. Now you can use a wire or you can use a chenille stem. I just find zip, zip ties are easy. Okay, did I do that right? Does that look right? We're gonna call it right. I probably could have made them a little longer, but. Miss Mary Lou. Could you please tell me how to get notifications again? Don't know why I don't get them anymore. That's why I miss a lot of the lives. Help, please, and thank you. Um, I know on YouTube, there should be underneath the video, like if, um, like next to the, because I'm trying to think, it may be different on like a computer or an iPad versus like a phone, but I think either way, next to our, our, channel name under the video there's a little bell sign and if you click on that you can turn on the notifications um and i think you can personalize the notifications or you can just say that you want all the notifications from us so there should look for a little um bell symbol next to our channel name and click on that <laughs> is that where she's at? Is she on YouTube? Yes, okay. she is. Mm -hmm. And if you want them on Facebook, over on Facebook, there are three little dots. Um, three little dots up in the um, up above the video. There's three little dots. And you can click on the three little dots, and it will, um, it will give you a little drop-down menu, and you can um, click on it. So I'm just taking those little those three little curls and I'm just layering them together and I'm just zip tying them to the two center um, rungs of this wreath. And you're just gonna layer them. I mean, you're just gonna pull them really close so that they fill up this wreath. Um, Kim says, Miss Monty, I'll be sending y'all's gift after, oh, how do you say this hurricane's name? I don't know. Um, I'll be sending y'all's gift after Hurricane Idela passes. Hopefully next week y'all be getting it. Oh, be getting thank it. you, sweetheart. Thank you. And we will pray for safety during the hurricane. Goodness. Okay. So you're going to go all the way around this wreath. I should have done a little bit of prepping, but... We'll just do it together. Ask me some questions. We'll talk <laughs> while I am just layering this mesh onto this wreath. And I am just taking those zip ties and I'm using my scissors and cutting that tab off. Always cut the tabs off. And if you push them closer, the closer you push that mesh, the fuller your little wreath will be. And I'm pulling these little rolls apart because if you pull them apart, then it makes it a little fuller. Um, Barbara Neal says, seems like yesterday you made the little front porch ghosts and the shop door decorations. Oh, we need to do that again. Our shop door needs some new decorations. And I've watched some new videos on our front porch ghost because I loved him last year so we're gonna do him again um, 
but I think we will do him with actually a white sheet and we're gonna um, scotch guard him so that he'll be a little stiff. So I'm excited to see how he comes out. I had a problem last year with the wind kept blowing my little, um, blowing his little skirt off and that was serious. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't stay in place. Um, Miss Liz says it's so cute. Oh, thanks. Uh, Miss Doris asks, how long was each piece? I did them about eight inches. Now, let me tell you, probably go 10 or 12 inches if you can. They seem a little short, but I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to put lots more ribbon in there, so I think it's going to be okay. But they seem a little short, but it's full. I think it's going to be full. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Carolyn says, thanks for not prepping so that you are with us longer. <laughs> oh, I hate to bore you, though. I hate to be... I don't want you to ever feel bored. <laughs> um, Don Miller asks, are you just working with the middle wires? I am. Yes, ma'am. So this wreath has four different little wires. One outer, two in the middle, and one on the inside. I'm just putting them on the inside um, rungs. My Mimi's on. Hey, Mimi. She said, uh, thank you, Mimi. She said, happy <laughs> birthday week. <laughs> yes, it's Victoria's birthday week. We needed to tell Kyle that. <laughs> um, I love you too, Mimi. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet girl. Um, Victoria's having a birthday on Saturday. Damn. Comes around fast, doesn't it? It Victoria? does. <laughs> Every fast. year it comes around, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, you're young. You said it comes around too fast. It's not like you're. It's not like you're knocking on the door of fifty, Victoria. But it does feel. You're fast. just in your twenties. A year does feel like it goes by fast. It really though. does go by fast, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, Miss Shelley on Facebook. I'm sorry, on YouTube says football starts this weekend at the high schools in Pflugerville, so that's the beginning of fall here. Our temperatures don't cool off until November or December. It's the same here. Our football started, I guess we started football two weeks ago um, at high schools, but we start college football here um, this weekend, so we will have our first college home game this weekend. And Micah Thomas is going to play, um, we are going to head to Arkansas this weekend to watch Micah play soccer. So we are fixing to really start um, traveling with his um, club team. And then it won't be long until we start soccer season at the high school. I guess we start in October, soccer season. Um, Family Ties Floral and Gifts says the ribbon will make it pretty. I am a ribbon girl. A yes, ribbon. yes, you can, you know I am too. We get, I get carried away with ribbon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little carried away with ribbon. Um, Janie Bradley says we are never bored. You are a delightful rescue from our crazy world. You are too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that is very sweet. You are too <laughs> sweet to us. Thank you. Uh, Miss Julie says, I made a heart-shaped wreath with sage green mesh. I filled out Ooh, all three wires. It took me three evenings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets a little carried away. <laughs> it gets a little carried away. Yeah, with this mesh, the one nice thing is, is that it doesn't really take tons and tons to really fill up the wreath. And again, I'm coming in with some other ribbon, so it's not going to be quite as, it's not, it doesn't take quite as much. Because I'm going to come in with the other ribbon. I'm just kind of gathering those in my hand. I really have no rhyme or reason. I thought I was going to do that little scrunchie that the other lady did, but it's my um, mesh is so short that it doesn't really require that little cute little scrunch she was doing. 
Um, Miss Helen says, good morning, watching from Australia. It's Hello. 7, mm -hmm. 7.25 in the morning here. Hello, friends. So glad you're here with us. I like the uh, your nails match your uh, your. <laughs> that would be Victoria's fingernail polish. Victoria and I share fingernail polish, so I'm kind of a. I have a certain brand that I like because it'll stay on for almost a week. Um, mm -hmm. It will stay on a week if you're careful, um, mm -hmm. but I'm not very careful usually. And Victoria came in the other night and she said, "I got us some new colors," <laughs> and so I had to try our new color that yeah. Victoria brought. We're each wearing a... We're good sharers, aren't we, Victoria? Yes. <laughs> it's nice to have a girl, though. <laughs> it's nice to have a girl. Okay, so you're just going to keep going with this mesh. Again, I apologize. This is taking a little longer than I expected. And I've got it just, you saw me cut it, and I just tucked it in a drawer right here in this dresser, and it's not rolling away from me. And I'm just taking each individual, I'm using all three colors, and I am just zip tying them together. Miss Dolores says, I love those colors together. Isn't that kind of fun? Kind of spooky. Miss Eileen is watching from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Hello, hello, Miss Eileen. Thank you for being here. Um, Fran Gray is watching from Miramichi, New Brunswick, Canada. Wow. Welcome. Uh, Miss Mary Lou asks, how is Callie doing? Have not seen her lately. Callie is doing great. She is back. So she went over the weekend. She had COVID last week. And so she, um, she stayed away from the shop. She rested. She was so tired. And so um, over the weekend, she took her son to Pensacola, Florida to college. So she and her husband, Daniel, took her son, Preston, to college and she said that was harder than she expected <laughs> mm. that was hard um but she is doing well today is her day off and so you will probably see her tomorrow um shirley roberts asks where did you get your mesh please so all of these supplies that i am showing you except some of the ribbon and i'll tell you which ones came from the Dollar Tree. So I wanted you to be able to go out to your local dollar store and pick up these supplies to put together. And so I will say, this is a cheaper mesh. It's not, um, you know, you can buy some that's a little nicer um, grade, I would say. This one, this is a little lightweight, but it works great for a fun dollar store craft. I like to every once in a while do a craft where you could go and pick up the supplies and put something similar together. You could even get all of these supplies, um, like the mesh and the wreath form from your local craft store if you have a craft store nearby. Um, Cheryl Inman says, I know you are using zip ties, but how are you putting it on? Okay, so I'll flip this over. So on the back, I don't know if you can see that very well. I am putting it on just the center rung. So it's got three, um, it's got three wire, I mean four wires. I'm just putting it on the center two, and I'm just zip tying it to that center. And I'm just rolling all that mesh up, kind of gathering it all together. And I'm just taking each individual little roll and just gathering them and then just zip tying them directly to the center wires. And then I'm taking Victoria's handy dandy snips mm -hmm. and just snipping off those tabs. Um, Dottie is watching from Columbus, Georgia. Hello friends, welcome! Uh, Kathleen Brown asks, are you alternating colors? I'm just, it doesn't matter. Honestly, I'm just, it doesn't, however they lay, it doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of going, um, I'm just mixing them up. 
I just want the colors all the way around. So you can absolutely, um, you can absolutely mix, I mean, lay them, but I don't think it, I don't think it really matters. I think it kind of looks alternated all the, all the way through. I really don't have much of a, um, much rhyme or reason to mm -hmm. it. Um, Heather Reeves says, yay, live. Have not been on live in a while. So glad you're here, Heather. Welcome, welcome. Looks like you are having fun still dealing with shingles six weeks oh, now. Hope you are having a great day. Heart. I am so sorry. I have never had shingles. I'm so sorry, but my mama has, and they were miserable. My grandmother did. I'm so sorry you're dealing with that. Um, Liz Pierce says, love the color that you were using. Isn't this kind of fun? These are just kind of fun fall colors. Again, this is kind of Halloween-y. You can absolutely do this exact same thing with any colors. So you could do it for any occasion, be it a baby um, wreath, be it fall, be it whatever. You can actually um, glue in flowers if you wanted to. You can do it however and make it your own. Miss Dawn Miller actually took, um, at the dollar store, I mean the Dollar Tree right now, you can find the little witch's hats. And Dawn, correct me if I'm wrong, but she took this same kind of mesh and made a scarecrow hat using the mesh. Instead of a witch's hat, she did a little fall scarecrow. Okay, I believe that the six rolls of mesh is plenty. I was afraid it wouldn't be but I think it is plenty to fill up your little wreath. Um, you may just answer this, but Dawn asks, was that one roll of each color of mesh? Two. It was two rolls of orange, two rolls of green, and two rolls of black. And it filled up this 14 inch without any problems. I was afraid it wouldn't. I, I bought six. And if you want it fuller, you can go ahead and cut the, um, I bought nine. I bought three of each color. Um, doing my math wrong over here. If you want it fuller, you can absolutely go back and add um, add that last roll of each color if you want to. Or if you want more of a solid color, you don't have to mix and match the colors. I just thought it might be fun mixed and matched. Um, Cheryl from Michigan says, I usually catch a replay, so it's good to see you. Yay, live. Cheryl. I'm so glad you called us live. Okay. There is our wreath. So all I did, I'm going to flip it over, is I took and cut um, about eight inch strips of that mesh. Now, if you want it a little fuller, you can leave your strips a little longer. I did mine in eight inches. Um, but it's pretty full. That's pretty full. Okay, next what I thought we would do is let's try to attach our little um, Frankenstein. This is the only one my dollar store had. My Dollar Tree had this one and I said, I am getting him because mm -hmm. <laughs> this will be fun. So this is a wreath decoration kit and it includes his little head, and it has little strings. It has little ribbons that you can tie him to that wreath. So it has his little head, these little feet. Look at his feet. Look at those striped pants he has on. Too mm -hmm. cute. And then it has his little hands. Now, it would probably be smart to glue these on because this little hand does not even have the ribbon. It probably came off somewhere. So it would probably be really smart to glue those on. Are you having to, having to go in and fix that? First though, I think we're gonna come in with some of our ribbon. Give us just a second on YouTube. We're coming back, I promise. So what I'm gonna do, before we start um, attaching him, Victoria, will you run in there and grab our glue pan and let's plug it in? Okay, so this is the cutest little Halloween ribbon. It is, let's see what is our length. It is two and a half inches by 108 inches. 
So three yards and nine feet is what it says, worth of ribbon. That's not bad. For a dollar twenty-five. Thanks, Carolyn. That way we'll glue his hands and his. So what I'm gonna do with this is I am going to take our ribbon, and I have lots of different fun ribbon. And this purple, I love the purple because it was sparkling. Oh, it's sheer. It's sheer and sparkly. And I thought we would take and cut us just some strips. Let's cut us some of this. So this ribbon here is here at the flower shop. This ribbon actually came from the craft outlet, but it is um, orange with black with little tiny polka dots. I thought that was cute. And then this is a solid green. And then I love the chevron. It's kind of a black and white chevron. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and layer our ribbons. And I'm just gonna cut us some strips. Now, I am not measuring. And if, um, if you want to, you can absolutely measure, but I didn't measure. Joanne asks, is the mesh from the Dollar Store? The mesh is from the Dollar Tree. The um, wreath form is from the Dollar Tree. And this cute, spooky ribbon and the purple ribbon or Dollar Tree and our Frankenstein kit is from the Dollar Tree. The only things that are not are, you can buy zip ties even at the Dollar Tree. Um, I bought those at the Lowe's um, store. And then these ribbons I just have here at the shop. So I just took some fun ribbons and then I took my Dollar Tree ribbons that are just as fun. I'm gonna gather those and I'm going to Grab a zip tie. And I am just going to zip tie them down into my wreath. Um, Joanne also asks, how long did you make the mesh sections and what size metal form? You may have said, but I... No problems. No problems. I made the, the mesh form. It, I mean, psh, words. <laughs> I did the... Um, the Wreath form is 14 inches. It came from the Dollar Tree. That was the only size they had. Um, so it was 14 inches. And the mesh, I cut to eight inches. Now, you can cut it. I would probably cut it longer. Let me just throw these on the floor. It's so much easier. Thanks, darling. <laughs> um, and these I didn't measure. I'm just cutting them all the same length. I just decided to just cut some. Um, she says thank you. You're welcome, friend. And again, all of this except a few of the ribbons came from the Dollar Tree because I wanted you to be able to kind of have fun with just crafts that you could pick up at your local dollar store. I did stop by the Dollar General to see if they had any ribbon because often they do. They didn't have any um, any Halloween ribbon. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just gathering these ribbons. I'm just gathering them right there in the center and I am going to zip tie them to my wreath form. Um, Margaret Lynch says, oh, we don't have dollar stores. It I makes know. me so unhappy. I've tried so many. Um, but, Miss Margaret, do you have a craft store that you could go and pick some of this stuff up at the craft store? Okay, this all has wire. So you can see I'm just taking it and I'm just scrunching that ribbon. And I, you have to be sure that everything is going to go the same direction. This sounds silly. But... And it really probably doesn't if you're, because I know some people are worse than I am. This um, Halloween ribbon, it's going up and down. So I want them all to be going the same direction when I put them in the um, in my wreath. So just make sure that if it has a pattern that you can read or you can see, you want to be able to read the words when you go to put it in your wreath. And that might be a me thing. And if it doesn't bother you, don't worry about it. 
Um, Kathy Meeks asks, so you will use only the center wire on the wreath board? I did. Now, if you want it fuller than this, you can absolutely go all, on all of the um, wires. I just use the center two. So all of this has a wire in it. So you can see, I'm just, I'm just scrunching that ribbon. Bria Norman says it would look wonderful with little fairy lights. I'm loving this Oh, one. it sure would. It would look great with fairy lights. My only problem with lights, though, is I want the lights to have a timer because I am never going to remember. So there's my little added ribbon. So see how much that little ribbon adds to that wreath? I'm never going to remember to go cut it on. And if I remember to cut it on, I'm probably not going to remember to cut it off. And so my batteries run down. So I, I would love to find a good brand of battery operated lights that have a timer because the timer for me is the most important part. Or even if it had like a little, um, a little, my mind just went like, I love it, um, solar like a little solar panel where they would come on at night. That would be good. Miss um, Martha asks, how is your mother? Mom is doing good. I have not talked to her this afternoon, but she slept well last night, so that's good. And um, she's doing pretty good. The doctor said that um, her hair was going to fall out, and so <laughs> she's worried about finding a wig. That's her main concern right this second, is finding a wig, so. Um, Heather says, pretty, and Miss Mary Lou says, I love this wreath. Isn't this kind of fun? It's just really fun, so I'm just gathering. Again, I'm making sure that all of my um, ribbon that says something is all going in the same direction so that you can read it. And I just, again, these are just long strips. I don't know the length of them, probably about 10 or 12 inches. Um, and you can kind of play with that. If they're too long, you can trim them up. Always remember though, you can't add length to them. So make them too long rather than too short. <laughs> Cause I had to learn that the hard way. Okay, again, what I'm doing with this ribbon is I'm just taking it and kind of putting a little crinkle in it. It's all wired ribbon, so I'm just adding just a little crinkle to it just because I just like it that way. Um, I don't know why I've always liked to have a little bit of a crinkle, not too straight. Um, Ms. Sheila Kendall says fairy lights with the remotes are available on Amazon. And um, Ms. Shelley says plug it into a timer instead of batteries. And Ms. Jill says, I agree with the light timer idea. Yeah, I just don't like to have to turn it off. <laughs> and then all my batteries run down. Okay, now that is cute. That is cute all by itself. It doesn't really even have to have Frankenstein, but I think Frankenstein is mighty cute, so let's add him. So we're going to take Frank, and his he has some ribbons up here at the top and then a ribbon down here at the bottom. So... Honestly, I'm just gluing him. I'm not going to use the ribbons. And I tell you why. Oh, we forgot something. I got some ribbons off the floor. I forgot to put in our little spooky vine. This, too, came from the dollar store. And look, it's just kind of a little vine. Just a fun little vine. I'm just going to wire or just kind of weave him in. All I'm gonna do is just kind of weave it right in. Now, you can take just a little wire. Give me your hand, Frank. Uh, Miss Margaret says, we have a big flower outlet, but you would have to have a, a VAT number to go in. Oh, really? So like a, um, probably a license to go in. So I'm just going to take and I am going to use just a little piece of wire to wire my little spooky, my little spooky vines in. Um, Ms. Brenda says all the colors are great Aren't together. Aren't fun? It's so fun and so inexpensive. So, so far this wreath has cost, 
I used one roll of the spooky ribbon. I used one roll of the purple ribbon. And I used two rolls each of the green and the orange and the black ribbon. And then the wreath form and so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I probably I'm by the end of it I'll have about fifteen dollars in it. If that much. So y'all, I'm just taking this bind wire. It's just a covered wire. And I am just taking my little spooky um, binds and I am just attaching them to that mesh. Just, I just attach it so it's not gonna come out. Uh, Miss Shelley says, the hair loss begins within two weeks of the first treatment. I had my hair almost shaved before. Lots to absorb at one time. Yeah, it's tough. She has done this before. Um, she's been through this before. She wears her hair short like I do. And so it won't be. I mean, I say that and I know it's hard. Um, I think that's been her hardest thing. I think that she was going to lose her hair. That's no fun. Um, but she is the toughest person I know. And we're going to get through it. It's just not fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's just... That's all there is to it. It's no fun. Okay, there is our spooky little mesh. I mean, our little vines, okay? Now, let's figure out, we're gonna tuck his little face right there in the, in the front. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut these little ribbons off. If you want to attach it with the ribbons, go ahead. Um, that's just more work than I want to do. So I, and this is just for me. It's not really for sale. It's just for me. So I pulled that off. And you know what we could do? I got a new, I got a idea. Look at me with an idea. Okay, I'm going to take just a wire. This is just a florist wire. 18 inches, 21 gauge. I'm going to, I am going to put it right into my little, um, material on his back on the back of him and I'm just going to wire his little head right to this wreath form look over there that way in Mississippi it's hot and hot glue in in um, the different temperatures wants to pop loose so I just wired him right to that wreath he's not going to go anywhere Next, we're going to take his hands. Um, Kathy Dickerson says, last year I got lights with the timer at Walmart at Christmas. They were $6. I used them on Reset recent. Church. Six yes. hours on, 18 hours off. They worked perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's what I'll have to look for. Okay, so I have his little hands, and I did take the little strings off. I'm going to just do the same thing. I'm going to take my wire and just run it right through that little material. So you can see how I kind of sewed it through. And I am just going to... The nice part about the wire too is we can adjust his hands if we don't like how they're sitting in the wreath. And I'm just doing a little twist right behind. And look, I can just adjust his little hands to do what I want to. Yvonne says, darling, love the colors. So see his little hand tucked in. Mm -hmm. Let's do our second one. That worked out perfect. I am so I can wing it. Okay, so I just kind of um, did a little stitch with my wire. Let's tuck that little hand over here. I can't wait to do his little legs. Um, Robin says, sending loves and hugs from Connecticut. What gauge wire do you suggest? I missed the beginning. Okay, the wire is my that's my favorite is 21 gauge. It's just easy to manipulate, but it's strong enough that it's going to hold whatever you need it to hold. Okay, so there's his hands. See his hands tucked in there? It's strong enough to hold. So my favorite um, gauge is 21. Now we do use like a 26 gauge for corsages and boutonnieres and such. Okay, look at these little 
breeches. <laughs> That's a southern word, breeches. People probably don't use that word. <laughs> but how cute are his pants? <laughs> They're my favorite. Look at these pants, Victoria. <laughs> Look at those pants. Okay, so we're going to tuck his pants kind of right into our wreath. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to do two wires for his pants. Um, Rolling Brown says it is really cute. Isn't this <laughs> really cute? I, I tell you, I apologize for me getting so excited over my little things. I could get so excited. This is going on the carport door. She says, I'm glad to hear your mother's treatment went well yesterday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so there's his little pants. I put two wires. I don't know if y'all can even see them, but there's two wires in there. Because I felt like if you do one, what if it gets kind of kind of crooked? Um, Dolores says, Monty, that was splendid to use the forest wire. Isn't that so smart? That's so much better than the glue because the glue is going to pop loose. And this will definitely hold. Okay, so you kind of just work those wires down in. <laughs> Don Miller says this is beautiful. Beautiful, Don Miller. I knew this would be one of your favorites. <laughs> I knew you'd be excited. Um, on YouTube, Oma says hi, watching from the Caribbean Trinidad. Look at those bridges, they're crooked. His pants are all crooked. Let me get your britches right. Hello, friend. I'm so <laughs> glad you're here. I'm sorry I was working on his britches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably the only person in the world that calls them britches. But, no, southern people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, Kay says, I never realized that he would be so cute. Is he not the cutest thing? Oh my goodness, he is precious. Now, you can add more bows if you want to. This is really all just you keep adding until you're happy, okay? Um, for me, I think I'm pretty happy. He's pretty cute. Um, oh, he turned out so much better than I could have ever imagined. But what I'm doing is I'm just taking some of this wired ribbon and I'm just kind of... Um, kind of scrunching it, but you just play with it until you're happy. But how cute is this guy? We're going to call him Frankie. <laughs> but there you go. So easy. It is a little time consuming. I did keep you here for far longer than I, um, than I should have. I should have been um, a little bit more prepared, but um, so, so easy. I'm going to flip it around. Now, what I chose to do, instead of using the little, um, it did come with ribbons on his little, um, his little head and his hands, but I felt like if we tied him on with the ribbons, it was going to pull his little head in too far. And so with the wire, we were able to um, keep his head out a little, a little bit. Now, I think his pants are on crooked. I'm gonna have to work on his britches, but you get the, you get the mm -hmm. idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, Barbara Neal says, you have two boys. Of course you say britches. Of course you say britches. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a southern thing because my mama said britches. Yeah, there's a few people saying they say britches. I will get your britches, my mama would say. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. There is our little Frankenstein wreath. Again, this came, it does say that this wreath for, I'm glad I got the 14. It does say that it fits on the 14 inch wreath. Now, I don't know what other wreaths they have. I bet they've got different ones. Um, Frankenstein was the only one that they had when I was there yesterday. And this was, I mean, this was the last one available. Um, at one of our, we've got a couple Dollar Trees. So this was the, our only one that was available, but I bet they have different ones. So if you choose to make this, I wanna see a picture because I would love to see what you come up with. But again, for this wreath, I used one of the little kits. I used one roll of, um, I used two rolls of wired ribbon from the Dollar Tree and then I added my own ribbon. 
I used one little package of the little spooky um, branch garland, and then I used um, two orange, two green, and two black of the mesh, um, and then a wreath form and some zip ties. And he is cute. Mm -hmm. um, Dolores says, yes, Frankie is absolutely adorable. Isn't Frankie cute? <laughs> and Margaret says, Frankie is awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Does anybody have any more questions so that we can let these people off? They've been here all day, or they feel like it. Um, I, don't, I don't think I see any. But you could also, guys, if you wanted to do a cute little Halloween something that he was holding, a cute little plaque, you could do that. But this is so much fun. If you decide to do a Dollar Tree um, wreath, I want to see it. Please share your wreaths with us. We would love to see them. Guys, thank you for being here with us. Thank you so much for all those who have prayed for my mama. Please continue. We sure appreciate those prayers for sure, for sure. If um, you have any questions about how I made this guy or how we do things here at our flower shop, you know you can ask those questions in the comments below or you can shoot me a message, do me a great big favor, sprinkle this video so other people can see it and we will see you tomorrow. If you're watching this on replay, push hash, type in hashtag replay for me so that we know you um, are watching that. And keep um, an eye out tomorrow over on YouTube. We will have a brand new video going up tomorrow. Guys, y'all have a great day. We'll see you soon.